In the traditional Middle Eastern culture, relationships between men and women are often governed by strict rules and expectations. And while these customs have evolved over the time, the idea of a woman having a platonic relationship with a man can be always a source of conflict and tension. In the West, they see that it's more common for a man to have a close friendship with a woman. And anyone involved in this type of friendship, they would tell you that no, there is no any type of romantic or sexual desire that any one of them has. But usually what I can sense of a relationship of this type is always different. Men can have a platonic relationship with no desires or no sexual desire, no romantic desire, if it's only professional. You go to work, you meet the woman, you speak with her, you do the tasks and it ends there. But if you tell me that you'll go with your opposite gender friend and it will be platonic to drink coffee or to go to the bar or to do whatever, to do some activities together, I truly believe that there could be there, even if there is not, there could be there with the time, some type of romantic feeling, some type of sexual tension there. When I was in uni, you would see me always with a girl from Congo. We would always stay together, go have lunch together, but it was purely to study together. It, it was purely to help each other pass the exams. These type of relationships, correct, you can have platonic friendship. She was my friend when I graduated, she ended up even graduating before me because I, st I posed my studies for one year. When I graduated, I sent her a message to thank her for her help and that I appreciate her efforts and everything because I was always going to, to school, coming late, sitting beside her, getting the news, what am I missing and stuff like that. She was my best friend at uni. We were friends, close friends. We would eat together, drink coffee together, walk through the camp together, but it was purely platonic friendship. Nothing else. But am I meeting with her after I finished school? Am I meeting with her? No. I just sent her a text to appreciate her efforts because she helped me a lot in going through the exams and following up with everything that I didn't care about when I was studying. The friendship was in the university. The start of this friendship came to study together, to get the diploma together, graduate together. And the friendship also ended after the goal was achieved. So these type of friendships, yes, they exist. But to tell me that I would have my male friend or my 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 female friend always with her texting, how oh, what you're doing? Uh, send me a picture of you in the in the gym. It's it's not allowed. It can't be like that. Other than purposeful friendship, I can't be fooled by any other type of platonic friendship. And to give you also another story, one of the uh, women I knew, we broke up. And she texted me and she said, uh, let's meet up. I said, meet, meet up for what? I said, no, I just like have coffee. I said, no, why? Why do you want to have coffee? I said, no, she said, no, don't worry. I already have a man. So you have a man and you want to meet an ex. Why do you want to meet an ex? Tell me, isn't that weird? There's no type of, this, this type of platonic friendships are, are just to fool your, your mind that, yo, now I'm going there. You have feeling for the man. If you don't have feeling for him, he has feeling for you. He has feelings. And if you call him one, one time, you tell him, oh, I broke up with my man. Can you come over? I guarantee you something will happen there. If you call him right now and tell him, hey, uh, Alex, I, I need your help. I feel so down, blah, blah, blah. I, I argued with my man. Come. If you call him and tell him, hey, do you want to hook up? He, he would come. Even if there are no feelings right now, if you keep meeting him, someone will catch feelings. Platonic relationships will always evolve to become something else. If they are not purposeful, if they are not just professional. And if you would argue, no, but I, I won't let him, even if he develops some, some feelings towards me. Or yeah, I know he might have some level of attraction towards me, but I don't feel the same. Why do you let something like that happen? Whether you are a man or a woman, if you know that the woman has some type of interest towards you, then don't play with her emotions. Why do you want to have a friendship with someone who is having some type of feelings towards you? You tell me, okay, there's no feelings, he has no interest in me, I have no interest in him, he is gay. And this is another problem, because as a Middle Eastern man, if I see a woman has platonic relationship with a gay man or a gay woman, it will be less attractive for me. And even if it's off topic, let me talk a little bit about this. I knew a girl from uh, Slovakia. She had uh, one of her best friend was gay. And to me, as a man from the Middle East, I told you already that we, when we, when we speak with a woman, we we have any type of relationship with her. We think about what kind of mother she would be. 
and I don't want my my kids to be raised as open to 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 being gay or to be something they are not. They were not born with. So do you want to, to portray that you are open with this? Because if you have a gay friend, then you're open with this and you promote it, and you would be okay for your kids to be like that, which is good for you. I'm not I'm not saying don't be that. I'm just saying that's what you promote. You sleep with a gay man in your in your bedroom because what? Because he's gay. I don't know what logic can explain this to me. So generally speaking, in the traditional Middle Eastern cultures, the idea of a man and a woman being close friends is seen as breach to social norms, and especially if the woman is married or engaged. And when these situations happen, when the man and woman are spending time alone together, it will be automatically perceived as a threat to the sanctity of the woman's relationship with her partner. In traditional Middle Eastern families, it will not be accepted for a woman to have platonic relationship with a man, and you see them usually even in settings in schools and in a lot of places the, the w women and uh, men are segregated they are both separated to avoid having these type of relationships these type of platonic relationship so this is just for those who are interested in how a man from the middle east perceive platonic relationships because usually in the middle east this is already known that it is not allowed, it is not promoted, and it is not facilitated as well. So I hope that I displayed the complexities that comes with this topic. And in a nutshell, I truly believe that if you love your man, regardless if he is a Middle Eastern man or not, you would not want to have a male friend. If you truly love your man, he'll be everything for you. Other men in the street or in, at work or wherever you meet them, they will be like objects with no souls, no emotions, nothing. You not even realize they exist. This is if you truly love your man. And I don't know if you have experienced this type of love that nothing is in your mind but your man. You not want any friendship, any other thing but him. I hope you got the idea. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will catch you on the next one.